Dumb. Stupid. Crazy. Dangerous. Stinks. <laughs> In one word, would I use dope? Nope. These kids are right. Drugs will hurt your mind, your body, and your life. Hi, I'm Brandon Tartikoff, chairman of NBC Entertainment. And I've got a hit idea for the new fall season. Don't do drugs. There's no hope with dope. What's up, you fucking peasants? This is Bloodstain Lane, a.k.a. Pipe Your Chick. And when you walk in the room, I look you right in your eyes and give you the Dave Hesse from Storage Wars. And here I am, first day of 2013. And my aura and my cheese mo are on levels you guys can't even fucking comprehend. All right? As you can see, I got the Panama hat on, always rocking the, the nicest designer shades. Gold silk robe imported from Japan, sent to me by one of my fucking fans. My Roma Select pipe imported from Italy. Um, I got Doug Chon in the back. You know, he's going to be co-hosting with me today. And like I said, I'm just feeling like a fucking million bucks. A whole new bloodstain lane this year. Very snobby. Very classy. Not fucking trashy. Nose up in the air. And more than, more than likely, I'm going to look at you motherfuckers like the low-life pieces of fucking shit that you are. Because you fucking bozos can't and never will shine my fucking shoes. And the only fucking resolution I got this fucking year is to get down and wait, get in some fucking shape so I can carry out some fucking street justice and bad karma headed your fucking way, you fucking punks. That's right, intense kettlebell training, sandband licks, and fucking plyo fucking jumps. A bitch, come and show me, because I'm ready. I'm a real Shia Muslim. Assalamu alaikum, yo. You are a crook, you selling, cab driving, terrorist, no good, piece of shit. You suck on camel cock. Oh, Fuck yeah. Fuck you. You are a son of a bitch. That being said. We got a fucking video to, to do today, you know, and it was a, a very, very great year in the world of combat sports. So this is Bloodstained Lane's 2012 Combat Sports Award Show. The best and only fucking combat sports show that matters and the only motherfucker out there covering MMA, kickboxing, and fucking boxing. Unlike the mother shitty award shows like fucking Fighters Only that gives a fucking award to everybody that's in fucking in, uh, on the UFC roster or is associated with fucking Zufa. Giving fucking Bull Bulls or fuck Dana White an award every fucking year. And giving fucking uh, that snobby cunt Ariane Celeste an award every fucking year. Professional. Otherwise, was, was, was ready to do a dream or country way, make him humble. Suplex him, put him in a camel clutch, break his back, and then fuck his ass. Make him humble to hear the spot our feet. This is the real. And like my boy the Iron Sheik says, I will fuck you in your ass and make you fucking humble, you scumbags. 2012 Fighter of the Year Award. And there will be two fighters sharing this award this year. Semi Shilt. And Myrtle, the Predator, Groanheart. Are my 2012 Fighter of the Years. And here is why. Semi Schultz went 6-0 with three knockouts. And won the stacked one night 16-man glory heavyweight Grand Slam tournament. And in the process, beat the number two and number three heavyweights in the world, respectively, in Daniel Gita and Go Kansaki, even knocking out Daniel Gita in the finals in the first round with a devastating fucking head kick. Oh! Oh! Couple that with his other wins over uh, Brees Gidon twice this year, Errol Zimmerman, Rico Verhoeven. This guy had an amazing, amazing year. And with his fifth Grand Prix fucking tournament, Semi Shield, in my opinion, and in my eyes, solidified himself as one of the top five greatest fighters in combat sports history 
in the same fucking with Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali, Fedor Emelianenko, Willie Pep. He's in that fucking same class. Yes, semi shield. Five Grand Prix tournaments, one nighters. A real, I mean, that's something out of a fucking movie. Couple that with having the fucking greatest jab since Larry Holmes, Sammy Schild is my 2012 Fighter of the Year. And the person who will be sharing this award with him, and this this award was all his up until yesterday, you know, where he, now he has to share the award, is the young standout out of Mike's gym, Murthel the Predator the Groanheart. And Murthel has always, always been a talented fighter, but always was a bit streaky. He never really put it all together. You know, it was rumors going around that, you know, he was into the party life, you know, with the women. And, you know, understandable for a young, you know, fighter, you know. But 2012 with Mirthal Gronhart's coming out year. And, man, this year he solidified himself as one of the biggest stars in combat sports. He went 6-0 and with six TKOs and six TKOs knockouts. And won the K1 Max Tournament and beat K1 Legends, Mike Zambides and Arthur Kaishenko in the fucking process. I mean, a huge, huge year. Like I said, 6 0, 6 knockouts. Monster year for Murtha Gronhart. Couple that with his devastating punching power, his uh his knees, his kicks, his exciting style, his his I mean, Murtha Gronhart will be a superstar in the world of combat sports for the next seven to ten years. And this was his coming out year. So congratulations to Murtha Gronhart. And Semi Shield, Bloodstained Lanes, 2012 Fighter of the Years. And if you don't agree with me, you're probably fucking hung like a fucking Rice Krispie and haven't had fucking pussy since you came out of your fucking mob stinky fucking badge, you fucking jerk jobs. Like I said, congrats to Myrtle and Semi. And your award is Ario Giovanni cooking you a yam. So, this week I'm going to show you how to cook a yam. American Fighter of the Year goes to none other than boxing super bantamweight kingpin, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. He had a, a, a bad year in 2012, beating four top 10 fighters in his weight class in Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., uh, Jeffrey uh, Matabula, uh, Toshiaki Nishioka, and uh, Jorge Arce. And he did it with brilliance, great technical skills, defense, punching power. I mean, he is arguably a top five boxer pound for pound in the world today, but he is my American Fighter of the Year award. So congratulations to the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. Donaire's putting himself in unnecessary risk. Sipping on this fucking Copenberg right now, pear cider. I live and die by this fucking shit. Fight of the year goes to the November 24th Walter Way showdown between Robert the Ghost Guerrero and Andre Berto. And I will say this about this fucking fight. This wasn't a boxing match. This was a back alley street fight with boxing gloves on. These guys fought this whole fucking fight in a telephone booth. Very, very, very upset at each other, by the way. These guys fought like... Like they walked in on somebody piping their fucking girlfriend. All over the world of big time international sport who can show you courage during competition. But what you're seeing here is a kind of courage which is showcased in only one sport. This is the 12th round of a championship boxing match. These men can barely see each other, and they are delivering from their heart and soul the way only fighters do. You don't play boxing. You do this. You fight for your life. 
Black. There you go. Dan Dolos. Your winner by unanimous decision, and still, WBC Intro Welterweight Champion of the World, Robert the Ghost Guerrero! Straight Tommy Gunn, Rocky Balboa, Rocky Five, Back Alley, Fucking Street Fight. Robert Guerrero ended up winning the 12-round decision. And just to say, Andre Berto will be wearing sunshades for a few more months because his, he was fucked up. So congratulations to Robert the Ghost Guerrero and Andre Berto for putting up Bloodstained Lane's 2012 Fight of the Year. Guerrero is now fighting Floyd Mayweather on May 4th. So that was a big, big win. My Knockout of the Year award. And this, come on, there's no fucking debate in this at all. It was the shot heard around the world, the 2012 Lee Harvey Oswald assassination. Juan Manuel Marquez, six-round overhand right on Manny Pacquiao with one second left. And like I said, one of the most memorable moments in my life in watching combat sports. I mean, like I said, very, very violent. I mean, I thought Manny Pacquiao was fucking dead for a second. And I actually believe he was dead for a fucking few minutes. I feel like he was up in fucking heaven playing bocce ball with fucking John Lennon and Babe Ruth. And, and then God decided it wasn't his time yet, so he sent him back down. That's how bad that fucking knockout was. So shout out to Juan Manuel Marquez for getting his revenge and scoring Bloodstained Lane's 2012 knockout of the year. What's up? So you worked at Bangor? Oh my gosh, so what you working with real quick? <laughs> These are my little money makers right here. We see some nipple action. I wish I could show you, but they don't let us. Okay, how about an I wish I could completely naked. El culo, el culo. El culo, maldito perro desgraciado. Female Fighter of the Year Award. I mean, there's really nobody else to give this to. I mean, she had a, a, a monster year. Both media-wise and inside the octagon or inside the cage. Ronda Rousey. She beat Misha Tate. She beat Sarah Kaufman. She fucking uh, got the cover of ESPN Magazine. TMZ. I mean, and then signed the, 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 the big contract with UFC. And it'll be now headlining event. There's no doubt in my mind. Female fighter of the year belongs to Ronda Rousey. And the only thing I don't like about Ronda Rousey are her fucking jerk job, pencil neck fucking geek fans are always on fucking Instagram and always on Twitter. Oh, R Ronda, can you marry me? Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, oh I'm going to jerk off to you right now. Oh. Other than that, Ronda Rousey, female fighter of the fucking year award. You, you are a faggot. You suck Nikolai Volkov's cock. Ah, uh, you're a fucking you piece fucking of shit. Man. I feel like to come over there and beat the fuck out of you. But the reason I'm not doing because respect for the Mr. Yeah, Howard. you have respect for him, for Howard. Look at you, but you are a faggot. <laughs> All right, oh, you want to fuck that? You want to show you my tenant's cock to fuck your fucking this is, stinky this is ass? Fucking but you don't want the fuck. You All don't right, want the kid. Ah, tough. <laughs> Submission of the Year Award. You know what? I'm also going to give that to Ronda Rousey. Her on bar on, uh, on Misha Tate was fucking devastating. I think she fucking snapped Misha Tate's fucking arm in half. Hit Less than a minute remaining in the first round. Ronda Rousey extending the arm. She's got to squeeze her knees a little bit. Tate hanging on, desperately trying to survive. Oh, she's going to break it. Oh, oh it's over. So, I mean, just very, very gory, gory stuff. Like, straight Steven Seagal, out for justice, violence. Um, 
So, Ronda Rousey, congratulations for getting Submission of the Year Award. Performance of the Year Award. And up until last week, that belonged to Adrian Broner's performance against uh, Antonio DeMarco. Brilliant, brilliant boxing performance. But now I have to give it to uh, Cain Velasquez against Junior Dos Santos. Um, I mean, it was brutal. It was dominant, and it was very, very exciting. I mean, uh, Cain Velasquez put Junior Dos Santos on his fucking back more times then I put my fucking girl on her back in 2012. I mean, he was fucking beat in the, on the feet with his boxing, on the ground. Whenever he wanted to take him down, he got him down. Uh, just a fucking brilliant, brilliant display by Cain Velasquez to recapture the UFC Heavyweight Championship. So he gets my Performance of the Year award. Breakthrough Fighter of the Year Award. And I'm going to give that to Adrian the Problem Broner. Three and zero, three knockouts. Like I said, he was gonna win the performance of the year or up until Cain Velasquez's performance. He moved up in weight, beat the living shit at Antonio DeMarco in eight rounds. I mean, and captured the lightweight title. And in that fight, really, really, the performance in that fight. I mean, I always thought DeMarco was an outside boxer, great boxing skills. He fought the whole fight in the pocket, ducking, shiving, fucking just slipping out of everything. DeMarco couldn't touch him, and De and Broner beat him up. In the fucking pocket like a bloody foot. Into a bloody fucking pulp. Excuse me. Uh, so, Adrian the Problem Broner, my breakthrough fighter of the year. Listen, man. They call me the problem. But you could call me the can man. Because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans. Anybody can get it. My baddest man on the planet award. I mean, 2012's baddest man on the planet belongs to none other than Daniel Gita. Of Gita. Monstrous, isn't he? Oh. Beautiful that is a knockout! What a left hook! Bene, la ficata colo. Cred mai multe lovituri de picior. Este lovitura de picior la cap! The Savage Samurai. I mean, a monster, monster year, but only one hiccup with the last fight on the last day of the year. Other than that, this guy had eight knockouts. Eight knockouts with one loss, and the only loss coming to the one of the top five greatest fighters of all time, Sammy Schilt. Eight knockouts. I mean, this guy has the boxing, the fucking low kicks. I mean, when this guy hits you with a low kick, just picture a prime Mark McGuire. Swinging a Louisville slugger at your fucking shin. That's how hard his fucking low kicks. Couple that with a picture perfect left fucking hook like a fucking 18 wheeler coming at your fucking jaw. I mean, this guy is a very, very dangerous and scary man. 
So, he is my 2012 baddest man on the planet. Most exciting fighters of the year award. And there's going to be two guys sharing this award. Gokan, the Rebel Saki. And Sergio Martinez. Gokan Saki. I mean, what can... This guy... There hasn't been a heavyweight since 1980s Mike Tyson that displays the explosiveness, the speed, the power that Gokan Saki possesses. I mean, have you ever seen this guy's fucking combination punching and kicking? It's 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 like something out of a fucking movie. I mean, honestly, the only thing that hurts Gokhan is his fucking side because he is a small heavyweight. Technically, and, 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 and excitingly, he is the most, in my opinion, the best kickboxer in the world if you want to factor in the size difference from all the other kickboxers out there. I mean, just a true, true tr treasure to watch. I mean, like I said, the blend of speed and power is like not even real sometimes. And the other most exciting fighter of the year what goes to Sergio Martinez, and how can you not? Every fight Sergio Martinez fights in is fucking exciting. Boxing world with one vicious shot that ended the fight. Good left hand, and down goes Williams. A sensational, shocking, one punch knockout of a top notch fighter. With one of the most electrifying knockouts of recent years. There he is. Here's the third knockdown of the we'll fight. Up Sergio Martinez. In round 11, with the determined Barker finally fading, Martinez took advantage. There's a good right hand by Barker, and Martinez instantly retaliates. And down goes Barker. I mean, this guy fights with his hands down, punches from the weirdest fucking angles, devastating power, speed. I mean, there's no Sergio Martinez is out there. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, I mean... Look at the fight against Chavez, which I'm going to get into probably in my next uh, award. In the 12th round, this guy got rocked, knocked down, and instead of holding the guy and covering up, he's in the pocket with his hands down throwing bombs. So, congratulations to Gokhan Saki and Sergio Martinez, my Bloodstained Lane 2012 Most Exciting Fighters of the Year. Um, round of the year, I just mentioned it. The Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Sergio Martinez fight. And for 11 rounds, Sergio Martinez was beating the shit out of him. And uh, in the 12th round, Chavez caught him, knocked him down, had Sergio rocked with about a minute left, minute and a half left. And what, from there, it was just straight up fucking fireworks. So fucking Sergio, instead of protecting, the, protecting himself and holding him, and he stood in the pocket and traded bombs with his fucking hands down. So uh, round of the year, round 12, Sergio Martinez. And uh, Chavez Jr. Peón se lo lleva contra cuerdas. Maravilla recibe, pero mete la suya. Atención, lo tocó Chávez. Cayó Maravilla Martínez. Cayó Maravilla Martínez. Increíble cómo lo tocó. Increíble. Minuto. ¿Dónde estuvo la mano que no la vi? Por favor, que suene la campana. Atención, que Chávez lo agarró en el último asalto. No quiero ver, no quiero ver. Se levanta los mexicanos, incrédulos. Está sentido el argentino, lo agarró en una derecha, imperceptible. No te fajes, Sergio, no te fajes, no te fajes. Ahora sí, corre para el otro lado, porque si no te van a sacar. Pedro Chávez, dramático final. Mete la izquierda y mete la izquierda, Martínez también. Quiero que termine la pelea, porque si hay nocaut, será nocaut para el mexicano, profe. Quiero que termine la pelea. Inolvidable pelea, gracias a los dos. Y Chávez sacó la casta de boxeador mexicano en el último. Y la maravilla tiene 
corren sangre los dos. ¿Qué tendrán los jurados? ¿Cómo la están viendo los jurados? Va Chávez a buscar una victoria histórica como la de su padre contra Melrick Taylor. Y justamente en los últimos 10 segundos, escapate de ahí, Sergio. Escapate de ahí. Ya hiciste lo mejor en pelea. Sonó la campana. Terminó la pelea. Inolvidable, dramática, sensacional. Porque parecía que era una victoria. My Man of Steel Award. And this is the award I give out to just a real, real rugged fighter. A real guy who, he's like a, a, a rusty piece of fucking steel that just keeps coming fucking forward. Just a real, real nasty individual. And uh, that award goes to Lucas Mthise. The junior welterweight um, Argentinian boxer. I mean, this guy is a, it just, he's like the real life Wolverine. He don't get hurt. He's coming for You can hit him with everything you got. Very rugged. Just a, a old-fashioned type uh, uh, um, fighter. So shout out to Lucas Mathife, my I Man of Steel award. The judges to rob me of this victory this time. Similar to what took place when he fought both Zab, Judah, and Devin Alexander. Who's next fighter of the year? Which I'm gonna give this award to the guy who who's gonna own 2013 and be the next big superstar. Even though he's a star now, he's gonna be the next big thing. And that award goes to Canelo Alvarez. I mean, what what can I say about Canelo? One of my favorite fighters today has the look, has the fucking skills, the power, the fucking speed, uh, the combination punching. He's backed by Golden Boy Promotions. Um, he is the next big thing in the world of combat sports. So, salute to Canelo Alvarez, who gets Bloodstained Lanes. Who's next 2012 award? Cotto keeping his hands up. Not really throwing back. Alvarez targeting right hand shots. How much punishment does Tony Weeks want to allow Jose Miguel Cotto to take? He's throwing back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off and Tony punishment against Valdemir that he may actually get the Argentine veteran out of there and that would be a credential. Down goes Valdemir on a rocket left hook. That's the biggest moment of the night for the crowd. They're going wild and the count is finished and he knocked Valdemir out. Not a and claiming a junior middleweight title belt. Canelo Alvarez, it looks like to me, is going to be a real good fighter. Maybe even. Beautiful combination by Alvarez. And Elch is down. He attacks. Good right hand by Canelo up and under, and then a big right cross across the top. Gomez is badly hurt. Canelo's got a chance to finish, and the referee's going to stop it. NyQuil Hands Award. NyQuil Hands. And this goes to the guy who pound for pound has the heaviest punch in all of combat sports. He puts you to fucking sleep. And this award goes to Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. In Kazakhstan, the middleweight boxer. Um, uh, he only fought twice this year and, and scored two knockouts. Um, but this guy, I mean, one of the hardest punches I've ever seen. He kind of reminds me of a cross between Casa Zou and Edwin Valero, the middleweight versions. And um, 
he's just a very, very dangerous fighter. I mean, his words of him knocking out light heavyweights and heavyweight and sparring. Just pound for pound, the hardest puncher of 2012 is Gennady Golovkin. And it just looked momentarily when that right hand stiffened and another one now. Right hand, but he took it well. Oh, oh dear me. Well, I'll tell you what, he did well to take that. How did he stare from that, John? I thought that was going to be good night. Oh! And another huge right hand from Golovkin. <laughs> and the left hook. I think the referee could easily be... Promotion of the year award. I'm going to give that award to Glory. And uh, Glory put on four or five events at the end. Their last event was just pure class. The 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 Grand Slam kickboxing tournament coupled with Dream 18. Um, just they they it, their shows just are filled with that Bushido fucking spirit, and this is why I love them. And they possess some of the best stand-up fighters in the fucking world with Semi Show, Gokan Saki, Daniel Gita, Robin Van Roosmalen, fucking George Petrosian. So shout out to Glory for winning Promotion of the Year award. This guy come! What the fuck you want to do? I'm coming to my face. Don't come in 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 my face. I will you. fucking knock you the fuck out. Fuck up, dude. I'll knock you the fuck wow. out, boy. You're lucky to shoot yourself. I would, I would knock you the fuck out. I would knock you the fuck out. I would knock you the fuck out. I'm not crazy. Uh, I don't hate you. I hate Don Nigger. Fuck you, motherfucker. I would knock you the fuck out, boy. Look, we got to calm down. Okay. Oh, my And Coach of the Year Award, and that goes to Robert Garcia. And uh, Coach of Nonito Donaire, Brandon Rios, Mikey Garcia, and like I said, those names alone right there, those guys had, those three guys had a huge, huge year in 2012. So, shout out to their coach, Robert, Robert Garcia, winning Coach of the Fucking Year. Enough. Come uh, show me, motherfucker. I am I'm gonna enough. fuck your ass and I'm gonna break your back Try and it. make you humble. Hey! Oh, hello, world! Are you ready for me? Bozo is back with the capital B. Bozo of the Year Award. And the winner for the second year in a row for Bozo of the fucking year. Goes to Bob Arum. And the reason why this devil worshipping old piece of shit gets the award again. Because of his greediness for fucking money. Boxing fans lost a memory forever in not seeing Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. He wanted to milk Manny Pacquiao until the fucking end of his career. Avoiding a Mayweather fight, and now what happens? Manny Pacquiao loses twice in a year to Timothy Bradley, and finally getting decapitated by Juan Manuel Marquez. So, Bob Arum, congratulations on winning Bozo of the Year Award for the second time in a row. I'm not going to say I wish the very worst life has to offer you, because you have a very short amount of time to live, because you're an old man. So I want you to enjoy the, the rest of your years, but I just want to say, you are a low-life old man. Piece of fucking shit. Fuck your life. And last but not least, Bloodstained Lanes Lifetime Achievement Award. And this award goes to my first favorite, No Holds Barred. Slash MMA fighter, the legendary DL Tank Abbott. I'm a street fighter, Big Daddy. It's in here and it's in here. I didn't, uh, I didn't just come out and say, you know what? I seen Ultimate Fighting on television. I think I'll dye my hair and get some flames on my shorts and be a fighter. I was beating ass when you were sucking on baby bottles, man. I was fucking people up. <laughs> This is a big, fat punching bag. Watch it. Tank quickly takes Matua to the ground. Matua back. Oh, 
don't fall Check down. Right. Don't oh. fall down. Here we are. Two, Let's go. Bam! 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 He took a serious beat. Not the light switch. Oh, there he goes. Look at it. I'm going to tell you what. It looks to me like somebody shot him with a damn gun. It looked like an assassin was outside in the in the arena. And what can you say about fucking Tank Gavin? The, this this guy was the real the first real personality in MMA. This guy came straight from the fucking bar, stepped in the fucking cage, and banged out with fucking martial artists. Heavy, heavy, heavy hands. Couple that with very, very good wrestling. And Tank's worst enemy was Tank Abbott. He wasn't really a hard guy. Uh, uh, he just loved the fight. He didn't really train. He didn't, you know, didn't take the conditioning seriously. And if he would have. Sky's the fucking limit. But that being said, he's still one of the greatest of all time. And a true, true legend in the world of no holds barred mixed martial arts fighting. So shout out to Tank Abbott, Bloodstains Lanes, 2012 Lifetime Achievement Award. He is myself. If I don't train and I'm not in shape, I'll lose. But you want to know what? I'll go out on my back trying. Don't ever fucking forget that. Stain Lane, respect the fucking shooter. Buzzstainlane.com coming early 2013. Three tattoos. Fuck my tattoos. Fuck. See, he likes to fuck with me. What do you want to do? What do you got to do? Shot. Just don't make me do it. Shot. Don't do it. Don't do it, Sean. Don't do it, Sean. Don't do it.